Mr. Kara George. Thank you, Chairman. I speak to you today as a concerned student, and may I say I'm glad to be given the opportunity, because I believe that formalised education is one of the most important aspects in a person's life. It teaches people how to become adults and how to become productive members of their society. I believe that education is an integral factor in any well-functioning community and any prosperous economy. Therefore, any government or organisation that wishes to improve the quality of education in this country should be commended for their efforts. As a result, this government's plans to subsidise private universities and to grant them land is a commendable policy. It is a commendable policy despite the fact that it represents this government's failure to understand the concepts of free market economics. It would seem that the government believes that throwing money at an industry will simply make it better, when in fact quite the opposite is true. Subsidising private universities will simply make them weak and uncompetitive. It will provide a second-rate education to Hong Kong's first-rate students. It will make universities a bureaucratic institution that would rather wait for another handout than provide a quality education, an education that Hong Kong students deserve. It is a commendable policy, even though it displays how clearly dire the property market has become in Hong Kong, when a university must beg for property rights only for the government to take them away to build public housing flats because the government has so poorly managed the property market here. They will do this in Kennedy Town and they will do it again all over Hong Kong. It seems that the government cares more about feeding its bloated property market than helping out its students. It is a commendable policy, despite the fact that it will turn universities into student factories, where the object of the organisation is to get as many people through the doors as possible, no matter what the quality of education is, harming students such as myself who are promised jobs at the end of our university degrees after the, all the fees and all the hard work, only to find out that, because the government fails to understand the basic concepts of supply and demand, there is no job waiting at the end of the student's degree. Ladies and gentlemen, the concept of helping to educate our society, our children, our poor, through subsidy and government land grants is a commendable policy, but it is not the right policy. To follow this path will simply harm the people that we are trying to help. I would recommend that the government focus its policy on providing the best quality of education, not the best quantity. Subsidy and government land grants do not provide the best level of education in this city. Thank you, Chairman. Okay,